domain analysis domain is all about the field you are working for example you are you are working in computer science computer science is a domain now networking in computer science is another domain right in network i am working with switches another domain so this is the domain you are talking about that is the actual piece of work where the software is going to be implemented and executed and will be worked upon now here comes the analysis pattern that is solving very common problems every software developer who has got experience he knows that certain things will come up again and again so once we create the analysis model of already known common problems such as analysis patterns we are calling it we can use it because in networking you know the tcp ip socket or pipe or whichever way you, ipc you have to use we know the common problems these are called the analysis patterns and once you use the analysis pattern it becomes because it becomes very easy to understand that the design patterns and the software component can be applied because this design pattern and software components will expedite will increase the value and you know make your software see to to the market and the cost will be reduced what i am trying to suggest here is using the analysis pattern consequently the design pattern and software component will improve the time to market and reduce the development cost now the question comes how are analysis pattern and class recognized who is going to define them who is going to categorize them who will uh, do it for the subsequent project because this is not the only project your company may be handling so who is going to find out this analysis pattern and the classes okay this can be applied to subsequent project this so we need to define it there has to be some one so thus that guy is called as the domain analyst and the work he does is domain analysis so fire smith he described his domain analysis in certain ways he says that the software domain analysis is the finding out identification analysis and specification of the common requirement for a specific application domain as i suggested networking switches and these are typically for reuse on the multiple project within that application domain a networking company software company can have multiple projects on networks so software domain analysis is all about finding so that it can be used reused in different application domain right so it is all about identification analysis and specification of common requirement when you specifically go to object oriented domain analysis here we are trying to find out what what will be the classes what will be the objects what will be the sub assemblies sub classes you can say what are the frameworks so this is the domain analysis okay so there are two things reuse and then applying it to multiple projects what is the goal what is the say end point you want to achieve first you want to create or to find or create those analysis classes or patterns that may be reused so main thing is reusing and finding out the analysis class and pattern so this domain analysis is not only pertaining to this requirement modeling it is a, it is an umbrella activity for the whole software development life cycle this activity will be carried out for example a domain analysis you can consider him to be equal to a master toolsmith if there is a very heavy manufacturing environment say car making then there will be a toolsmith now the job of toolsmith is what he will design and build tools and give it to you or give it to people who are doing similar kind of job but not the same job that is they are in different pro pro projects and they are doing similar kind of work so he will make the tool once and he will give one to one project team one to another project team so this is the domain analysis so if you see here what are the inputs and the outputs you are going to going to get how do you get to do the domain analysis what are the inputs the final will be the domain analysis model so the sources can be immense it can even come from say let me let us take an example it is a medical science field you are making a software so what will be the technical literature what are the applications which are already being used by the company or the other companies for the same space same thing you can use the medical science people doctors and and the and the other uh, you know supporting people to get the customer survey you can get the expert device or the current and future requirement finally you will get the result as class taxonomies reuse standards functional models and the domain languages these will be the outputs 
ಫೈನಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗಂಟೆ ಇಂದು ಮೇಲೆ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ